Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testprepinsight.com. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing the PPI to pass FE and PE courses. I'm gonna cover how the PPI course is structured, what the classes are like, pricing, and of course, what I like and what I don't like. So if you're ready, we've got a lot to cover. Let's hit it. All right, so to kick things off, I just wanna mention up front here that since I'll just be sorta of limited to talking about the major highlights and lowlights in this video, if you find you need more detail at any point, you can always check out our full detailed written review over on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight PPI to Pass Review. That's a quick way to find it. All right, so let's kick this review off by breaking down how the PPI course is structured before moving into my thoughts. Now, there are two types of course formats that you can choose from. There's the on-demand course and the live online course. And as you can probably guess, the live online course is centered around regular live online class sessions, while the on-demand course is based around recorded video lectures. But here's the thing. The two courses are actually the same. The lectures are identical. It's just a matter of whether you want to attend class live so you can ask questions and be held accountable and have some structure in your studies, or if you don't need those elements, the on-demand version basically just leverages the recorded lectures from the live online classes as the centerpiece of their teaching material. But either way, whether you attend in real time or watch on demand after the fact, the lectures look like this. A picture of your instructor appears in the corner of your screen and he or she walks you through all the necessary content review, as well as problem solving demonstrations, marking up slides on screen as they go. If you've ever taken a college course or continuing an education class online, this is gonna be similar. It's a pretty classic but effective online teaching framework. Then beyond the lectures, a good chunk of your learning is gonna come from the PPI reference manual. You'll be given assignments out of the manual around classes, and it's essentially gonna be your guide to passing the exam. It's filled with substantive content review, equations, cross-references to the reference handbook, which you'll be using during the exam, sample problems, graphics, and a bunch more. This is basically gonna be your Bible as you prep for the exam. And I say that only half jokingly. I mean, the PE Civil Manual is over seven pounds. In short, this is a detail-packed beast of a text, but it's honestly worth its weight in gold. Then, beyond the lectures and reference manual, as well as the other print materials, the bulk of your other study resources are gonna be housed in the PPI Learning Hub. Through this digital student portal, you'll get access to a personalized study plan which tells you exactly what to study and when, a quiz generator tool that allows you to build custom practice sets, including alternative item type problems, full length practice exams, a performance tracker, and more. It's basically a really clean and easy to use portal with a bunch of helpful tools, especially the practice materials. And that's the PPI course in a nutshell, a series of live online classes or recorded lectures depending on the format, backstopped by assignments from the reference manual and digital tools in the learning hub like practice sets and study calendars. And I know I covered that pretty quickly, so if you do wanna see a more detailed breakdown of exactly how this course plays out, be sure to check out that full review that I mentioned. I'll have it linked down below in the description. I have more detail over there so you can get a better feel for what to expect. All right, so before we dive into my thoughts, let's quickly cover PPI's pricing as it's an important topic and will help provide some more context. And in short, PPI's pricing varies widely based on what exam you're taking and even what discipline. Then the pricing also differs based on whether you go the live online route or the on-demand route and even how you bundle it. But generally speaking, you're looking at anywhere between $1,500 and $2,800 for a PPI course. And to put things in perspective, that's not cheap. Honestly, PPI is one of the most expensive players in the FE and PE prep space. On average, their courses are gonna run a few hundred dollars more than those from School of PE and other competitors. That said, it's definitely worth mentioning that PPI does frequently run sales and special promotions, and you can usually snag a discount on their courses. So be sure to check for coupon codes before buying. In fact, I'll do my best to keep the description below the video screen updated with the most current discount codes that might be floating around out there. So make sure to check that out and save yourself some coin if you do decide to go with PPI. I think in most cases, you can get at least 15% off with them. And by the way, if I could just say, we work really hard to produce honest and helpful content, all totally free. So if PPI does end up being the right choice for you, we'd really appreciate it if you'd use those links listed down below in the description. That's how you can support our channel and allow us to keep creating these types of helpful review videos. And if it turns out that PPI isn't the right match for you, it's no problem at all. I just wanna make sure you get matched up with the right prep course and we have a ton of other helpful reviews and comparisons that you can check out. Okay, so now that we've covered how the PPI to pass program works and pricing, let's get to the good part. What I like and what I don't like after using this course. And let's start with the things that I really like. Number one, the PPI reference manual. There's a reason why everyone has heard of and uses PPI print materials. They are legit. 
Whether you're studying for the FE Mechanical or PE Civil, their breakdowns of concepts are on point. They find a perfect balance of detail and brevity, mix in superb sample problems, and use a ton of visuals. Like I said earlier, the reference manual is worth its weight in gold. All right, so number two, the Learning Hub. Frankly, I love PPI's Learning Hub as a home base for your studies. The personal study plan guides you on exactly what to study each day. The quiz generator tool is awesome and allows you to build narrowly targeted problem sets. And the performance metrics are great, especially for discovering your weak spots and other pacing issues. Okay, my third pro is PPI's support. Between the live classes, their instructor office hour webinars, email support, and chat function, you just never feel like you're alone in your studies. If you ever get caught up on a concept and just can't seem to wrap your head around it, there's no excuse for not getting an answer. There's always an avenue to get support with PPI. Granted, you might pay for it, but overall, PPI seems to provide much better student support than other courses we've reviewed. Okay, last up here, number four, the live classes. On the whole, I really, really like PPI's live classes. I thought the instructors were efficient but thorough in their delivery and provided effective clarifications whenever students asked for it or even when they just thought the concept called for it. Basically, I just think PPI made really good use of class time with streamlined lessons and solid instructors. However, I did have a couple minor grievances with the live classes and this is probably a good opportunity to bounce over to my cons or negatives for PPI. And there's a couple small things here with the live classes. For one, at times I struggled to read the instructor's handwriting on the slides as he worked through problems. Sometimes his handwriting was just sort of small and chicken scratchy and I just had a hard time trying to decipher it. I mean, not to the point where I would hinder my learning, but it was just sort of annoying. And second, the chat box in the bottom corner where students can ask questions and make comments. I like that this tool is here for interaction, but I would just note that it's easy to get distracted with this chat box at times. Sometimes other students would go off on tangents unrelated to the material being reviewed, and before I knew it, I was watching their comments more than the instruction, and we were moving on to the next problem. Okay, second negative. I thought some of the problem solutions in the student portal were just sort of on the brief side. Most of the problem explanations in the reference manual and lectures get a lot of attention and detail, but some of the problem-specific solutions that go along with the practice exams and practice sets in the Learning Hub were just a little on the thin side. i just like to see PPI add a little bit more detail to these. And finally, third, the cost. There's just no way around it. PPI is expensive. With each course being around two grand, if money is tight, this just might not be the right package for you. All right, so that covers my pros and cons, so let's get to my final verdict. But before I get to that, I should mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we give away a free prep course to one lucky person. It's super simple to enter. Everyone is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description, but just know, it takes less than 10 seconds to enter, and hey, you never know, you could win a totally free PPI course. Okay, the final verdict. Should you use PPI for your FE or PE exam prep? Well, personally, I think the PPI to pass review course is a top-notch prep option offering a well-rounded body of coursework. I was really impressed with the comprehensiveness of the live online classes and all of the accompanying materials, especially the practice questions and print materials. Honestly, I found the live classes to be awesome with great instruction and content coverage. And of course, PPI Civil Reference Manual and other print materials are about the best around. That said, I did find the price to be a little high as compared to other prep courses and wasn't thrilled with some of the problem solutions, but still, I believe that the PPI prep courses are some of the most effective prep options for FE and PE exam prep on the market, and they're likely going to give you a really good shot of passing on the first try. And that's all I've got for you. I hope this review video has been helpful and you learned a little something. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and dropping us a quick comment below. That'd really be appreciated. And again, if you want to see that full detailed written review that I mentioned earlier in this video, make sure to hop on over to our website, testprepinsight.com, or check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. We have a ton of great content out there. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and we'll see you in the next one.